The SVS50 is a multi-jig with a simple protrusion recipe versus the angle we want on the tip of our skew, whether we're doing a radius skew or a standard grind with a long and a short edge, choosing between 20 and 40 degrees is very simple and easy and fast. Now we're going to use the SVS50 multi-jig, the open seat and the closed seat. As you can see, I have the roughing gouge in the open seat and a skew chisel in the closed seat. First of all, the roughing gouge. We're going to set this up with a protrusion of 75 millimetres and then I'm going to find that the bevel must meet the wheel. So I'm going to adjust the universal support arm until I hit the wheel where I can see it sits nicely. It's a good idea to use a black pen on here as a marker and then when I rotate the wheel with the multi-jig resting firmly against the support arm I can then see exactly that I've got it aligned from top to bottom. Then we're going to continue to grind. And you would have seen that the last part of this is much more fluid and there was a slip in the middle of that. If the roughing gouge is sharpened correctly, you should have no more than the tip of a pencil visible through a space. So you have a straight grind across the face of the tool. The angle on this one is currently 45 degrees. We're going to hone it because it's necessary to have the best sharp edge. It's going to take quite a beating against the side grain, rough edges, square block, or maybe even tree trunk material that we'll be putting against it. Now we're going to hone it. Now we're going to make sure the bevel is rubbing on the leather wheel. Apply some honing paste. Not too much. Pressing firmly down on the jig and rotate the tool backwards and forwards till you've polished that edge. Making sure we are not behind 12 o'clock on the honing wheel. Find the edge, carefully roll backwards and forwards and get a beautiful polish so that all the burr is removed. Perfect. Razor sharp. When we're sharpening a parting tool or a bedan tool like I have here, just press down firmly with your thumb and avoid moving from side to side. This will stop you rolling the edges and should give you the nice crisp square edge that you desire. Let's have a look. Almost there. perfectly okay to move across your stone and place the tool in different areas but I'm not moving from side to side. Really a nice thing to be able to do. The SVS multi-jig allows us an easy access to repeat a grind on tools like the skew, be it an oval skew or a straight skew, your choice. Simple projections and distances on the wheel, often using the black pen method so we can make sure we're accurately rubbing the bevel and off we go. And just simply sliding this from side to side until we achieve the desired result before we go and hone. Very simple procedure. This wonderful new accessory called the MB100 now allows us to sharpen our tools if we wish to on the side of the diamond wheel. Quite simple to apply. I'm taking the universal support arm out and replacing it with the BM100. I'm putting it in about halfway just to start. Then I'm going to place the universal support arm with the long projection upwards, lock it in place and 
just offer the tool, in this instance the uh, SVS multi-jig and just see, and I just happen to be hitting it lucky this time, that I'm ready to fine tune and grind on the side of this tool. Placing it on the universal support arm, well away from the diamond wheel, swinging around carefully and engaging the surface. Once we're engaged, we can then carefully move up and down. This is not possible on a stone, only possible on the diamond, as we won't wear down the surface unevenly. And you can see we're quite fast approaching getting rid of that hollow grind. Until we have our flat bevel.